Hello, and welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby Beck. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't even, I couldn't even finish Wait. it. It was so funny. Be yourself. This is myself. Hello, and welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P stands for, excuse me? You're not Darby. I don't get a lot of opportunities to be a white woman, so please let me have this. Okay. I'm just kidding. Hi, everyone. My name is Arigato. You may remember me from an older episode of IMHO, but here I am in studio. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Now, Darby is doing her uh, monthly sick day. Mm. She has in her writer that she has to have a day, not away from the show, but away from me, uh, once a month. And there's a lot going on this month, so she took today. Now, Ari, you have been here before, but this is your first time in studio because you were guests during the pandemic where we had to do green screen. Yes. From home. From home. How are you feeling? I am feeling good. No, you said you were feeling crazy, right? You, because you're so busy. <laughs> wow, air out my dirty no, laundry. No, 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 because you're I doing am. a show right now. You're doing Othello. I am feeling manic. Yes, so I'm doing a production of Othello with Court Theater right now, which is super exciting and super cool. I do it in drag, so it's like... Wait, who's the drag character in that? Um, There is no drag character in that. We made a character <gasps> drag, which is like, in a way, going back to like Shakespeare's roots, because you know, like back in the day, like only... Uh, yeah, and like I'm not a man, but like it's pretty close. And so I'm playing the character Bianca, and I'm doing it in drags. And so we're presenting this like very queer relationship between Bianca and Cassio, um, <sighs> the like secondary love interest. Secondary, maybe third dairy. Is that a word? Yeah. And so we just had this is the this is this is November first. At time of filming, it's November first. I'm so sorry to break the fourth wall here. Yeah, we're in a that. time machine. So it's the day after Halloween. Which is a Monday and no. Did you have a busy? Y yes, but by choice Somewhat I had two show days on Saturday and Sunday. Oh theater. I decided yeah We had an eight show week like it's fucking broad. Oh, can I cut? I'm so sorry. Yeah, of course you can cuss We insist that you do Great. We had an eight show week like it was fucking Broadway and we filmed our show because it's going to be available for streaming uh, <gasps> online. So if you want to watch Othello, go to courttheater.something, I don't know. You can watch us starting November 8th, a streamed, streamable version of our show, which is exciting. But we had to film the show. So we did the show once through and then we held the audience hostage for another three hours to do it again and <sighs> film from different angles. I know that people who are going to watch it streamed are going to see everyone in the show go from really excited to really tired by the oh, end of it no. because we held everyone well, hostage. Well, no shade, but I do feel like that is kind of every Shakespeare show. Well, because they're classically like nine hours long. Yeah. It, well, Othello is usually like five acts, but we cut it down to we're only at an hour and a half. You're living my dream. I've always wanted to play a lady in a live stage show. Yeah. And it's always been a dream of mine too. Is like I'm finally being able to do the things that I've. And you're like a part. Why I started Bianca's doing drag. Part. Yeah. Well, yes. No, she is. Yes. I mean, I don't know the show. I agree. Wait, is she, cause I, the, my only touchstone to Othello is, what is it in, have you ever seen that movie? Have you ever seen that movie? Um, Famously, I've only seen four movies. Bring It On, okay. Mean Girls, She's the Man, and My Best Friend's Wedding. Which are all kind of based on Shakespeare plays. Right. Yeah. <laughs> although, everything, although everything is. I can't remember what it's called, but it's Billy Crudup and... Someone else. You know what weirds me out about Othello? Othello is like, you hot. know. What? Othello's hot, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know if like... Isn't he hot and everyone loves him? Yeah. He's also black, which is like the point, right? And everyone, like, it, it, is, it is like a about race. It is a caricature of what a black person is. Um, and about how like, black people are good until they're not good. And then we don't like them, you know? It's like, mm. and so we're, we're doing a twist on that, but like, I'm also black and like, we have another black actor in the show playing Cassio. And so it's like, we're making a commentary on like, white society and how they view black people and like, 
how they allow them to be good and how they allow them to be bad at the turn of a hat, you know what I mean? And like which ones are good and which ones are bad when they do things that we don't like, you know? And so it's interesting, it's very interesting, but when people come up to me, we're, we're kind of like setting the precedence for that concept of it. Mm -hmm. It's usually just like, black man, angry, kill wife, and then she dies. Sorry, mm, spoiler. Um, but It's been around for a while. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> when people come up to me and they're like, oh my god, I love Othello, it's one of my favorite plays. I'm like, that's kind of weird. Because along the way, somewhere, you saw Othello in blackface, and you were cool with it. Because oh, well, people because have they, only they... stopped doing Othello in blackface in the theater world for the past, like, 30, 40 years, maybe. For the opera world, even less time. Oh, it's still... It's, I mean, there, to this day, someone's doing Othello, the opera, in mm. blackface. It makes me so uncomfortable. So people are like, oh my god, they're like, think opera they're complimenting give, me yeah. at my show, and they're like, oh my god, I love Othello, I cannot wait to see it. And I'm like, why? So I was doing that at two show days, and I went out to Berlin every <gasps> night. Did you go? After that. Was it fun? Yes, but I have had not an hour of sleep. I, Darby's sick of hearing about it, but I have had similar vibes of just like being insane lately because I was dog sitting for a week for someone and then mm -hmm. I had two nights at home, but I had gigs those nights, so I didn't really oh, have nights right. at home. Oh. And then I just dog sat again and I got home this morning. So I just, I felt like I haven't been at home and I've had no time to do anything that needs it. Like, my home is a hoarder. Have you ever seen Labyrinth? No, that's not one of your four No, but I've seen your home. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Let's get on with it. Let's do it. Um, today we're discussing uh, Canada's Drag Race. The episode is called Screech. Now, if you just... Do you... What's your... Do you, did you ever do Saved by the Bell when you were little? Of course. What are your opinions on Screech? The character and Dustin Diamond, the actor. Well, Dustin Diamond, my favorite actor, yeah. I think. Uh, Do you know he's dying? He died. He died. He, died. Well, he, died. he also he was a, a bad person. I think he was a bad he person. He was not good. No, Screech, fun character. Mm -hmm. I don't really have a big opinion. Did Ooh. you watch Stay by the Bell? I did. Fun, right? Uh, yeah, it was a good time. When we were really young, it was fun. Is this based on Stay by the Bell? No, but Screech is his name. So I was hoping it would be. No, it's actually based on scary movies. You yes. told me your four movies do not like scary movies. Here's the thing. Okay, I, I have seen... I have, guilty. Are you coming? I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm gonna come clean. I'm a Gemini, so naturally. So I only lie. one part... Gemini's twin, right? Yeah. So only one part of you has only seen four movies. One of me other... has, only seen, has seen a plethora of other ones. Okay, do you like scary I films? I love scary films. <gasps> yeah, me too. Here's the thing, though. I hate Halloween. I hate No, 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 Halloween. no, 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 wait, wait, no, I want to get into this. Do you hate Halloween now or have you always not liked it? I hate Halloween for adults. The culture around Halloween for adults makes me very uncomfortable. I think if you're not a child collecting candy from strangers, I don't think that you should partake. Do you think that that, that because we are drag performers and because we dress up a lot, do you think that that has some bearing on it? Because I kind of feel similarly. That, I, that does have some new age i've hated halloween as an adult since like high school it gives people an excuse to like be wild and crazy and do things that they normally wouldn't do because they are masked they are doing things like i don't know it just the, the vibe is off to me i don't I love agree. it i love spooky things and concepts i hate it i hate the function of halloween i think you should just be it all the time Halloween is year-round. Spooky is year-round. Yeah, it's like, let yourself be free to feel and do, be whoever you want to be. Don't, like, contain it on one on weekend. On one weekend. I, I agree. I have to say, kids, trick-or-treating, horrifying. Really? Yeah. Rappers everywhere. Candy wrappers everywhere. Oh, I was like, Chameleon Air was just outside. No, you know? candy... Just like... <laughs> <laughs> Rappers Honestly, I everywhere. would prefer that to Little the other way one. Down the street. I would prefer that to the other one because I was when I'm walking this dog. I'm yes. walking this sweet precious angel who annoys the shit out of me and already likes to eat everything she comes across. Mm -hmm. Full candy wrappers, some open, some closed, with candy in it. I'm like, and this is the one, I don't know if you know my history, but I have, so this is the person who I dog sit for, who I used to cat sit for. I the cat do died. know this the cat part died. of your history. The cat oh, died. No. There is a new cat, and both, it's fine, but uh, it did die on my for watch. Now. It wasn't my fault. But I'm like, great, now all I need is for this dog to eat chocolate 
on my watch. Right. I have a, I, I keep watch. Uh, I yeah, keep chocolate and, on my and watch. You just, um, yeah. Let's get into this. Do you watch Canada? Are you enjoying the season so far? Well, of course. And I am also so biased because well, I was talking a little bit about this yes, earlier. Yes, we're biased too. We're biased too. I love E6000. Yeah. E6000 is one of my closest internet friends who I know only on the internet, like from our internet interactions and phone calls and like, we did a podcast together. I mean, I love E6000. Yeah. To an extent that is almost weird. So I, I of course was like, when she was, when it was announced, I was like, period. I cannot wait. Yeah. So I've been religiously watching it and making sure I watch it. Because with UK and like the other ones. <clears throat> There's just such so much right now. I don't even watch them. I put them on, uh, on my phone, in the sink when I'm taking a shower. So I hear the episodes. And I'm just like, okay, I kind of know what's going on. Yeah. But with Canada, I'm making sure that I watch it. It's yeah. not just shower show because I have to watch Eve. Do you do that? Put it in the sink because of the acoustics. Yes. Like yeah. bowl. Like bowl. Yeah. Like bowl. <laughs> um. <laughs> I didn't mean it to sound. <laughs> like bowl. Yeah. Yes. Well, like I, bowl. Did you understand her name before this? Yeah. Okay. And all of you who didn't. Well. The Texas education system. Okay, well, I was... Oceane, oh, Aqua Black, left. So sad. What a, what a, what a gorgeous spirit. And I'm, I'm she had an amazing her. energy. Yeah, it yeah. was very sad to see her go. But how hilarious is it that she wrote so much on the mirror that they complained? They complained. They couldn't even focus on the fact that they liked her so much. They were like, girl, she wrote a novel. I was like, yeah, because she loves you. Uh, I loved Be it. Be grateful. I loved it. What I a also, sweet human. I, oh, man. I loved her runway last week, and I was so <gasps> sad that she was, was in so the bottom. Good. It didn't need to be in They the weren't bottom. impressed by it. No, this is sickening. Well, I felt so bad. It's so sad to see her go. But what a, what an incredible queen. What she does blind. I did this mug with full vision today. Well, except my left for. eye has not worked for a long time. But Why? The, uh, uh, I, uh, my sister peed in it when I was younger. Very long story. I don't see very well. And, but I am not blind. And Oceane was doing drag. Dragoons, drag. Yeah. Blind. That's sickening. Your sister did what? Don't worry about it. Uh, okay. Huh? Well, speaking of Eve, she's a little Eve emotional again. Yes. But I love that I it's love a running it. bit that she's the crier of the season. I know. Every five seconds they're like, is Eve crying? I'm like, you better make TV, bitch. But she did make put a nice little bow on the thing with Kendall because they had a little moment. And she Kendall did. was very gracious and like, girl, I know, we're in a. I mean, you're in a crazy situation. Emotions are already boiling yeah. to the surface. Then they just get right into the maxi challenge. Yeah. And they say, you're doing... Uh, Which, thank God. Yeah, it was fun. I kind of wish I would have watched it before Halloween, because I it was like... Because now, I'm not Halloween at all. No, I, I, it was a struggle to put this much eyeliner on today. Mm, I do love scary movies, though. I love scary movies. And I What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, uh, it's got to be Scream and the whole franchise. My favorite scary movie? My best friend's Tell movie. Me. I'm just kidding. Um, my <laughs> favorite scary movie. I have a couple. 13 Ghosts really That's messed me up when one. I was a kid. Oh. I used to see that cage woman in front of my bed before I went to sleep. 13 Ghosts, horrible film. By, and by that I mean great. Alexis Bevels, horrible drag queen. You'll so see me we... in your sleep. You'll see me in your, in your sleep. My other one is... But not, not caged, because uh, Locktober is over. My other favorite scary movie is The Haunting with Captain Zeta Jones and Liam Neeson. Oh, and Lily, uh, uh, Lily, um. That woman. Yes. So good. Ooh, and no one so remembers that. No, film. I used to watch it all the time. The Spiral Staircase. Yes. Spiral Staircase. So creepy. Like people coming, mushing oh out the walls. Oh my god, yes. That one's yes. really good. Okay, now oh I do god. like that one. So good. Yeah. So they're doing their very own slasher film called Screech and Pythia, since she won last week, she yes. gets to dole out the parts. She has all the power. Didn't seem so like she was unfair or unwieldy. No, she was she really almost did. too diplomatic about it. She also like didn't even assign. Everyone was like, "I'm doing this part," and she was like, "Well, that's right. kind of how I would do it." Because you have to very, t it's a very delicate tightrope you have to walk. I don't care about tightropes. 
Let's cause tension, babes. She's doling out, there's a couple of people. Eve is like, I want to do Nara Hater. Yes. Stephanie Prince is like, I want to do Nara Hater. And then Stephanie realizes later, that's a lot of lines. That's I won't do lines. that. Eve, yes. you take it. So a uh, uh, win for Eve. Yes. And then it was, well, no, who was the other ones that they had to do rock, paper, scissors so, over? Oh, uh, there was another one. And it was... I didn't write that down, but what I did write down is Stephanie Prince has sleep paralysis and saw ghosts growing up. Have you yeah. ever seen a ghost? I want to know. My whole family can see ghosts, my, on my mom's side. And so we have like a very long history of all of us seeing, experiencing, feeling ghosts. I mean, it's it's cool and it's scary. Have you, yes. so you have, <clears throat> you have experienced that? Experienced, like been thrown across the room by <gasps> ghosts. No! Yeah, we're very in, in, in tune with them. I don't know what it is, my whole family, all my siblings. My little sister had the worst case. She, they would torment her and oh, no. I would like, I, I stopped being able to see them when I was 13, but I could still sense and hear them until I was maybe a couple years ago. But my wow. sister could see them and they would really interact with her for a very, very long time. She's just now getting to the point where I am now. That's in college. terrifying. Yeah, it was really spooky. I could see them as well as I could see normal, like real people for a long time. And it was very confusing and very hard. I have never, I've never had anything like that happen to me and I'm gonna talk about dog sitting again because I used to because I dog sat for my friend who lived You're in, professional in dogs a professional dog. Honestly, or? it's kind of my side hustle, but only only to a few people. What if we made it your full time hustle? Honestly, at this point, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so, so tired. It would be amazing. Just nobody on the third floor because I don't like all those stairs. Oh my god. And Chicago nobody and nobody with a dog. Uh, Nobody with a dog. So what I really like to do is house it. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I was dog sitting for this one friend that he swears up and down. He's had so many experiences and he could like list them off and all these things and they had yeah. to like close down the basement because there's weird stuff was going on. And I stayed there for two whole weeks and not a single thing. I think mm. I'm just too closed off. You might be. But, I, but you know, I want to be respectful and I don't want to be like, I want to think out, you know right. what I mean? I yeah. probably... Uh, probably a good thing that I don't have that yeah, option. Maybe. I just thought that was interesting. Sleep, yeah. sleep paralysis ever happen to you? All, all the time. Shut up! All the time. Wow! Constantly. I one time, okay, story time, which has been a lot of the time. Um, story time, I was experimenting with astral projection and like um, lucid, dreaming. lucid dreaming and all that. So there's a, a telltale signs while you're dreaming and you're trying to lucid dream that you know where that you can figure out. We were just talking, I was just talking about this with Darby. Oh my yeah, god, go where ahead. you can figure tell out if you're dreaming your and you can like tell. Yeah. So it's like one, reading things because like your brain, as logical as it is, cannot in your dreams write out full sentences yeah. that make sense. You can understand them in your dream if you are allowing it, yourself to stay dreaming. But, but it's it wingdings. Is, yes. It's oh, it's absolute wingdings. wingdings. Okay. And so... Wingdings is my favorite. Part. Wingdings, it's... I. That's interesting. Can you read wingdings? No, but I love it. Oh. I think it's important to love things that you can't understand. Mm. That's a word. And so then the other one is to count how many fingers you have. I've heard of that. Yes because sometimes you can't. And then also like to look at your reflection and to see yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so those are some of the some of the signs. And so I was astral projecting and I could tell because I was reading the signs of the posters and stuff I had in my room at the time. It, they were all legible. And I was like, oh, I am astral projecting. I am really here. And I was right above my body on my bed. And I was floating up and up and up, but I couldn't control myself. I just kept going up. And- That's a fear of mine. For what? C continue, and I'll I'll do mine after you. Okay. Floating up, like like gravity doesn't like work, Willy Wonka. or like no, Willy, Willy Wonka's Wonka fine because then you can then you can burp, burp it out. No, like floating and up, or or bitch. somehow gravity does opposite, and everything is now falling to the ground. But oh. what if you're outside? You just fall. You just fall. I think about that a lot, actually. <laughs> Alexis, we're here and we'd be fine because we're you know we're both agile. We could probably like. But if we were outside, if you were on a balcony, you would just... I was astral projecting and I was floating, floating, floating up and I couldn't stop myself. And my closet door opened. A man walked out and just started to grab onto my body. Like it was trying to enter it while I wasn't in it. And so I zoomed back into my body and I was in sleep paralysis. I felt his hands on my arms where I had seen him holding me down and I like threw myself out of the bed. That is terrifying. Yeah. Was he hot? 
Okay, James. Okay. <laughs> Wait, have you been watching? I am obs I am a mega fan. Stop I am it. I am an IMHO mega fan. I comment Hi. on all the videos. I am obsessed with IMHO. Oh, we're obsessed with you. We love you. Okay, so Kimora Amor gets the, the nerdy character. I don't know what hers was based off of. Maybe I don't know that maybe, it was based on anything. Well, she was supposed to be a nerd, she was so a maybe nerd. she was Janet from Rocky Horror. Or Velma from Scooby-Doo. A lot of Velmas on Halloween. I've been checking the boards. So many Velmas. I've been checking the boards and the trades. I love a latex Velma, Velma though. I, mm. that's, that gets me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesbian rights. Um, she was trying to say, out of my wheelhouse, but she said, this is out of my wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Laura, I love you. I couldn't love her. I couldn't love her more. Yeah, it made me laugh so hard, and not a one of them caught it. No. Wait. So you're. Uh, I. I was thinking about this because when Kendall was talking about her journey with sobriety, I was like, yes. Oh, this is amazing that you're going to be here today because you're also sober. Yeah. Oh, am I allowed to say? Yeah, I just said it. What did you? How did you feel uh, hearing Kendall talk about that? Oh, it, I think it's so. It's such an important conversation to have because, like, we work in nightlife. We're constantly surrounded by substances, and and I thought her point of view on it was so interesting because she completely delineated. Don't know if that's the right word, but d yeah, delineated her 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 drag self and her regular self in the. <sighs> In talking about, she was like, my, Kendall was doing the drugs yes. and, you know, all of that. Like, Ken wasn't doing anything. The pressures of being a drag character and being in nightlife and being in the queer scene, it affects you differently than, like, if you were just walking around every day, normal. And I thought it was so, so interesting of her to to talk about it in that way. Yeah. And I, it's not something, I've, I've been... I've never asked about alcohol, except for one time I had some beer and I was, like, drinking it and I was like, hey, um, dad, I'm three years old. Please don't put beer in my mouth anymore. Oh. But that was the last time. Childhood trauma. We yeah. do that. We do. We have that here. Do you feel like Ari is is a separate character from who you are out of drag because this is this this mm. also speaks to how amazing drag is because for some people that is that is the truth like ben de la creme i mean just vocally the example of ben de la creme vocally you know how she talks a certain way in drag a uh, james mansfield and she yes. talks a certain way out of it sorry i talk yes. with my hands i don't feel like i don't think darby is either i don't feel like i have a character do you feel like yeah. ari is a different i don't feel like i have a character i do feel like ari is much more confident because people know who she is. T you know? T T it's T like T when I'm legal name. Yeah. People don't know who I am, people don't care. I don't you kinda of prefer it that way though. But I oh you do? Oh no. I do. When I go out and like non drag Oh, I don't go out. I go out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have this friend, Cinna Marie. I don't know if you're familiar with Cinna Marie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been friends since college. And they call me by my legal name all the time. And I'm like, when we're in a public drag setting, like a queer setting, you have to call me by my drag name because I have power. Thank I have you. No, I have no power as legal name. Yeah. But I don't think it's a character necessarily. I probably talk about my trauma more as a drag queen though. Well, in that, okay, in that, <laughs> in that respect, yes, I agree. Yeah, it's powerful. It's, it's more confident, it's more, it's more, but that, but that's because you've that, you especially you Alexis you've accomplished so much in your drag career you you oh. I mean you accomplished a lot as an actor doing things when you weren't in drag but in your drag career you've done so much you've achieved so much you have this in, incredible platform you also have the platform of Camp Wanakiki you know you have all of these things that you have done and accomplished that it's it's so nice when someone recognizes you for the amazing things that you've done. That's right. You know? I'm trying to receive that without being, uh... Well, I'm saying it as a joke, so... Oh! No, I'm okay. just kidding. <laughs> it has to feel good when someone's like, Oh my god, you're Alexis Bevels. Yeah. You know, and you're just like, Oh no, I'm just at Trader Joe's. I'm trying to pick out my favorite, uh, uh, salt Mac cover brownies. Spice. Thank you. The salt cover brownies, have you had them? The sea salt brownies. Can I be honest? No. Darby's brilliant. Darby's... She was mad at me when I told her this. I'm not a sea salt and chocolate person. If it's in front of me, I will eat it. It will be it will be appreciated, but I'm not someone who buys that. What I heard was I don't like to experience joy. Okay, so Amanda and Fifi were the directors. I don't really know if there's any much to talk about when they were filming their stuff, except for I did love Amanda as a director. I felt like she was actually giving helpful direction. Yeah, was she? 
I did think I she was Fifi kind of. I loved Fifi in that, actually. I know, I like Fifi. I, and also, when they were doing the lip sync, I was like, maybe I should listen to Fifi. Agreed. Because this song is good. And the way that everyone was so, like, excited when they said her name. Kamor Amor was like, the original Rihanna. And I was like, I don't know about that, but I love the enthusiasm. I love the enthusiasm. I love how much she cared. Yeah. It brought her to tears to see God. her work being loved. We'll get to out. it, but wow. Yeah. Overall, the, the, the acting moments that were interesting. I did not know, was it scriptural that what's her geometric had a lisp? No, I, would, I did want to made? talk about that because okay, Drew Barrymore does have kind of a lisp vibe oh. to her. Okay. So maybe, maybe it that's was, what she was editor, maybe into. it was director's notes or maybe it was like in the script because she was, bo she was, she was blue, blue, scary more, blue, scary I think. More, you're right. I don't know that we needed the lisp. I, I wish we didn't have it. It really took me to a different place than I needed to be. But I, I like. but I do want to be honest. Okay. I think even without the lisp, the performance would have just been okay. Oh, here's but speak, <laughs> but speaking but, of but, but, Cynthia Kiss. She said, but she meant to say nothing but net, but she said all net. Did you catch that? No. <laughs> and I'm not trying to, I'm not saying like, you, I, you I think wrote down a, every single. I think there's a bit, because it made me laugh so hard because I, I don't, not, not to be like a, not to be like a classist thing. Cause I think when people point out, like you said a word wrong, it's, right. it's kind of classist. And, I'm not yeah. doing that. I'm just saying it makes me laugh because it's like telephone, like all of these, <laughs> like all of these phrases that have come down through the ages, but she said all net, all net. nothing but net. Yeah. Well, but all net is not. I mean, actually, all net is wrong because it's the exact opposite of nothing but net. No, it's no. It, it does mean because nothing but net means okay. Do you do sports? I think that means like when the ball doesn't even hit the rim, it just goes nothing through but to net. the yep. net. It's all so all net would be this. All net would work still. The problem is that all net sounds like an internet company. Yeah, or or Aquanet. Let's just get into let's get into the <laughs> runway because let's get into the runway. There wasn't really much. Oh, trauma talk. We had trauma, trauma talk, talk with Eve's, uh, Eve's dad, yes. which was, yes. I, I mean, how relatable dad issues with with drag queens. Yeah. But they seem to kind of be coming. They're coming. It seems to be coming on the and other it, side. Yeah. And it seems like. Into a good it space. It seems like to have a body of work that he can watch. Yeah. And a kind of go on the, work, yeah. on the journey with her. I th I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I hope yeah. that that feels nice. It's always really sad. Not sad, but it's always really charged mm. when queens go on shows like this and talk about their family history because you know what mean greets they get you know constantly reminded of yeah that. yeah i didn't think about that so it's very brave of Eve to talk about it and absolutely and then we also hear about adriana's mom adriana's mom who was a adriana a, adriana there thank you so much you're so welcome who is a saint and that's where she no, got her that's name dragula thank you so she was an angel i love that yeah and like how she had her, her dad was also, like, ruined her first relationship. That was wild. That, that was wild, but I know people who had that experience as well. I, did you see my tweet today? No. I remember today that when I was little, I was I was with my mom, which is okay. heaven. You're like, you're like, quiet. I was with Are my, you whispering? I was with my mom, which is heaven. Well, I don't want Darby to hear because I already told it to her, and oh. she's probably seen it on Twitter. I was with my mom. We were in a car, and I was, I was really little. Uh-huh. She came up to my dad on a stoplight, but he was going this way and we were going that way. Uh -huh. And he wanted to take me golfing, so they passed me through the windows while the light was red. Isn't that toast traumatic? What? I had to go golfing. So they're trauma talking. All right, let's get into the runway. Yes. Uh, Brooklyn looks amazing. Bring it to the runway. The runway is Good Girl Gone Bad. Yes. We start off with Suki Doll, who has this like kind of religious thing, and then she takes it off and she's tattoos and kind of yes. a black. Drape of fabric. Yes. I wanted to spend more time with the cover up. Yeah. I, I, it was beautiful. I think uh, she does that a lot. Her presentation is always like, hurry it up and then do it. And I'm like, okay, like, yeah, give us some time though. Let us take it in. I wanted, it, yeah. yeah. I wanted more time with it, but I loved the uh, little tattoo thing. She is. She stunning. looked great. I mean, she, she always looks great. Yeah, I really love her. I love that wig too. Ooh, the chops. Oh, oh yeah, so getting sickening. to see it up close and in, in untucked was really cute. Yes. Eve 6000. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I, we are biased. Yeah, but my favorite of the night. She was I, Betty Boop. Yes, a reveal into slutty Betty Boop. Yes, I loved it so much. I thought she looked so good. I don't think that it's fair 
I don't think that it's fair they gave her the critique about the presentation and then like they gave because you know we know that they do it twice. I don't know that it happened where she was like uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna bring times. it up because we're friends. But I don't believe that. Yeah. I think that there was a cut where she didn't do it Maybe and they, they didn't did that, use it. So they, so they could have, give her a critique. Because even on the critiques, no, we're not there yet, but we're gonna be there for this No, moment. we could do it. Yeah, it's all in. When they were giving her critiques, they seemed reluctant to give her a positive critique. The whole time they were just like, I mean, you look gorgeous. You do. They put that clip in there <gasps> to make us think, Eve's not the tea. When really, we should all be sipping Eve. Ooh, but not E6000, because that would glue That is a hazard, yeah. Wait, maybe we're setting it up so RuPaul can sing her new famous song, Blame It On The Edit. Blame It On The Edit. Hey. I mean, the makeup is always great. The hair was gorgeous. The outfit was, the body was, I mean, she is. The body looks good, oh and, and it was also like so, so in good. tune with her brand, which is kind of like that old Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah, stunning. She's so good. Loved. E6000. Stephanie Prince, she was kind of a Dorothy latex. Yes. A little Bo Peep. No, I think it was per supposed to be Dorothy. It was Dorothy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horthy. I mean, she looked great. She did look good. I did not like her wig. But she looked good. Cynthia, she came out in a kind of peppermint patty vibe. Yeah, yeah. Green giving and black stripes. Yeah. I liked the skirt. I don't, this didn't really do much for me. I wanted the wig to be bigger. Yeah. Yeah, it just didn't give me good girl gone bad. It gave me bad girl. She's a rocker chick. I love, which I love. Yeah. But it was, uh, yeah, it, the element of good girl I would have liked to see. Good girl gone. Because almost everyone, there. good girl gone. Gone yeah. girl. Geometric is a, um, <laughs> I, I did think this was clever. I thought it was Mold so Hollywood. Good. It, uh, it looked beautiful. It was so good. It was very yeah. clever and it was not a take I would initially think. I I I was Le kind of blown away. Really lucky. liked it. I liked it a yeah. lot. Yeah, and also mold is something that everyone deals with at one point in their life or another. Mold touches us all. Mm-hmm. Pythia <laughs> was, she was Miss Rubber Nun into Red Hands. She was. She was. The thing about Pythia is that she has told us multiple times that her name is pronounced Pythia and everyone calls her Pythia and I think it's sickening. Like is the it, emphasis. What is it supposed to be? It's Pythia. Pythia. Please forgive me. What's a Pythia? I didn't remember that. Pythia. Um, uh, but Pythia looked cool. incredible. Yeah. Loved the makeup. I, I, I loved, loved it. I love her makeup and I liked yeah. the interpretation. It is a shame we had something very similar come we down. Did, but I do think did. Pythia was it was much more interesting. When, well, yeah. It, it, had, it, of nuns. it had a different, it had an, an actual point of view rather than it just being the concept of nun to demon. It was like, this is a demon with grabby hands and sexuality. And hell. it was, yeah. yeah, very drag me to hell, yes. Had it been a sister act, we know which one would have. Well, now you're talking nonsense. Oh, ah! <laughs> Kimora Amor, she was a pope and then she took the pope off. Yeah. Into like this dominatrix stuff. Yeah, I, uh, uh, didn't hate it. I did not. Wasn't my it. favorite. No, yeah, it definitely wasn't my favorite. It was just like a. It seemed like a like a like a little dance bodysuit leotard that like you would wear. You know, it just it yeah, felt very she, yeah. In, in, in Monday, which was cool. Nundane. <sighs> Kendall Gender also nun. Uh, Nun demon yes. or nun devil. Devil, devil. Yeah, it was good. I thought the costume was well constructed. I loved the devil I costume. Feel like Kendall, I would like to wear it. I feel like Kendall is yeah, yeah. becoming the like narrator of the show. She's definitely giving narrator. And I like that. Okay. I love the confessionals because Kendall's so hot. I agree, Kendall's drag. very attractive. My god, Kendall, if you're watching this, I'm also hot out of drag. You can't tell now or uh, in any of my out of drag picks. But That's there's not true. something in there. That's not there's true. There's something there, Kendall, and I'm or available. There, or there could be uh, something in there. Well. Adriana. Yes. So clever. Marie Antoinette okay. let them eat cake, but also off with her head. Did you get all that? Do you know about Marie Antoinette? I do. I don't. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why it was used in this moment. Good Girl Gone Bad? Explain it to me. My interpretation of Marie Antoinette is the Sofia Coppola movie starring Kirsten Dunst. Have you seen? I have only seen two movies. Right. What that movie's told me, which I get all my historical knowledge from movies because well, I am course. from Texas. According to me and my heart, for me, para me. Yes. For, for moi. Is for moi. she was just a young girl who went to go <laughs> live in Versailles. Sure. And they were like, 
this this lady's a bitch. She told us to let them eat cake. And and Kristen Dunst is like, I didn't say that. This is Kristen Dunst in the movie. She's like, please, I didn't say that. So I think Marie Antoinette was just misunderstood and they cut her head off because they thought she was like spending all their money. Watch that movie. It's okay, really that's, good. Okay, that's the historical go-to. Watch that movie. It's that movie. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't Still know. Still don't get how it pitched at this moment. Well, I think it was a, so, historically <laughs> everyone's like, Marie Antoinette was a bitch a and she didn't care about her people. She said, let them eat cake. But I think in reality, she maybe wasn't that evil. We just hate women. Yes. I thought the outfit was incredible. I had, I still, even after hearing the Kirsten Dunst explanation, no idea why it fits in this category. Well, maybe I'm just trying to make it work You're really for making the connections and that's awesome. But I thought she was beautiful. And she I... looked incredible. Yeah. I thought she was so good. Well, because good girl gone bad, if you cut a girl's head off, that would maybe, you could also say like... No, but you're, you're reaching. Babe. It's a real stretch. Um, well, okay. Oh. Oh. Selfie. Isis Couture is a character from one of her favorite comic books. She was a yellow bunny. She, she was, was a, a yellow bunny. I wrote piss bunny. Go piss girl. I Cool. I didn't understand good girl gone bad. Yeah, I didn't either. I, but I, cool. Yeah. Isis has great looks. Yeah, she does. I'm so sorry. Are you working? Did you know what I learned right before this? What? Did you know this? I'm so sorry. <laughs> is it bothering you? No, I'm gesturing? just always going to look at it because I think it's funny. Okay, okay. <laughs> Did you know... That diet doesn't mean caffeine free. Yeah. Okay, I did not know that. I gave up coffee like three months ago and I switched from regular Coke to Diet Coke thinking like, this is much healthier. I'm no caffeine, no sugar. This is silly. Also, notoriously, diet drinks are worse for you. Let's All talk right. about these films. <laughs> Let's talk about the Long. film. It's just one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 10 minutes, it was, I It was a say. good chunk of time. It was a full film. Anybody stand out to you? Eve stood out. To be honest, I thought... One of the better really filmed, acted moments. Because I thought almost everyone was kind of good. There was only like maybe two people that I thought were glaringly bad. Mm -hmm. I thought so many of them were not horrible. Well, now I want to watch it through your eyes. Because uh, I, I what thought... What did you think? I didn't, what did you think? I thought I was so mad. I was... Because I love slasher movies. I love... Oh. Sure. Sydney Prescott. Yes. It's so hard though because you don't want them to be actually good actors. You want them to be giving good performances. Yes. Yeah. And I also thought yes. the material they were working with wasn't good. I thought it was one of the better scripts. Huh. I maybe really I need to watch did. it again. I really thought it was one of the better ones. It did give everyone a moment to shine. I thought everyone had a moment. It and did I thought give everyone, everyone a Like, Suki Doll was so funny. I did think she should have been in the top. So funny. I thought she should have been in the she top. She opened the whole movie with, it's a new day in the workroom and I'm feeling horny. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that was iconic. I almost walked in here and was like, it's a new day on IMHO and I'm feeling horny because I thought it was so good and even Kamora Amor had a good moment at the sewing machine where she was like well she wouldn't want me to take a fabric like everyone had good mo I thought it was one of the better films okay maybe I need to watch it, it again. was kind maybe of good was and just... Eve was so incredible she really held the whole thing together glue like Eve 6000 the Audrey one who Adam. won Adriana was good yeah and nobody was bad except for really Stephanie Prince, Stephanie Prince. Yeah. Eve was the best, but it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Eve was the best, challenge. but Adriana's part was made people laugh. So that's why they picked her, probably. Mm. The outfit didn't make sense to me. Anyway. Also, the reference, I couldn't I think understand. Eve won. I couldn't understand what character she was referencing. Because we had, like, Nancy from The Craft, we had Sydney from Scream. Maybe I was getting too hung up on that. Who? Adriana. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I didn't know what her um, character was based off well, of. Wait, it was, wasn't it just supposed to be the judge, Brad, whoever, Gordetsky's? No, that w Gordita? Crunch. That's, that was the reference. I knew that one. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Isis Couture, the jock. Isis was also bad. <laughs> we find out that the killer in the movie is Jimbo. That was interesting. Do you have a positive association with Jimbo? I did not love Jimbo on season two. I loved her at season one. Season one. I didn't love Jimbo on the show. I think she's sickening. Our tops were Eve, Gia, and Adriana. Adriana? Yeah. You're doing good. I'm so sorry. And then Stephanie Prince and Cynthia and Kendall were the bottom. I'm happy to see Eve get some positive critiques. Yeah. 
Me too. I do think Suki should have been in the top. I agree. I don't think Suki was safe. Maybe it was her runway. Maybe they weren't impressed by her runway. I guess. Adriana wins $5,000 in fabric. Yeah. That's so much money. Okay. I, I would love that. Part. I was going to say, that is something that you would love. I would get it and be like, okay. But it, it also is but like, I could, could send it to buy designers. It and give it to and a get, designer. Exactly. So like, actually it would be a great present. But I was also like, I think she heard $5,000 and was like, and then they said for fabric and she was like, okay. The bottom two are Stephanie Prince and Cynthia Kiss, and they have to lip sync to the song Ghost yes. by guest judge Fifi Dobson. Fifi Dobson. Which was a bop. I should, I, like you said, I, I'm going to listen to it. I think I'm going to listen to her. There was one moment when... Can I say this? Yeah. My problem with SK winning, I, I don't love when people are like, I'm a dancer, and then don't dance. Uh, <laughs> I, I did. That was... I was perturbed. There's I dancers, because you're an actual dancer. You yeah. study ballet. I, yeah. And she said, and I've been was... dancing since grade one. I am going to tear this up. And she stomped my, around the stage. Issue, it was very bizarre. My issue with it was, it seemed like, whether it was intentional or not, if it was intentional, I didn't like it. If it was intentional, I don't like her spatial awareness of getting in front of the other, putting hands in front yeah. of the other. Mm -hmm. When she flung whatever that was. Oh my it, god, and it almost and it Hit Stephanie. Oh, that was And you so saw scary. Amanda go, ooh. I don't like that. I think it's important. I think a key important part, especially in Chicago, because our stages are, if we have them, right. this big, you have to be spatially aware. You have to, yeah. If you're just trying to upstage your opponent, that's not a that's good lip cheap. sync. Yeah, it's not a great lip sync. I would have preferred her just doing her own thing. I would have loved, yeah, I agree. I, I do think she won the lip sync. I think she was slightly better. But we got a new, we got a new trick, which is windmill. Shanae's. When she busted out those windmill Shanae's, I was like, what is this? It, it looked good with the outfit. It looked great with the outfit. I don't know what the standard of dancing is like in Canada, because this is the second time we've seen people who call themselves dancers who've been yeah, cause Lisa not Leather, great at dancing. Not dancers. And also... I would never call myself a dancer. Thank you. <laughs> As someone who was once your dance instructor. For two times uh, during the pandemic. Two times during the panty. Yeah. Although I did okay. You said I you, did No, you have really good... Um, Muscle memory. ...character and energy. <gasps> and I just... And I know that she probably is a good dancer. But even last season with Lemon, every time she went up, I didn't think that she was serving dance goddess like she thought she was. Yeah. And I know that she studied with Alvin Ailey and, and all of those things, but I was just like, she was don't, an AA. you don't have to say she was an AA. <laughs> Whether you're a dancer or not, you set yourself up by you saying You set yourself up by saying that. And I don't think the two things correlate because if you're in pads and corset and heels, even if you are a dancer, you probably can't dance the way that you think you can. Not everyone can. Not, I'm not everyone can. I think exactly. you can. Because there are people who really can. But I really enjoyed this episode of Canada's Drag Race. Me too, and next week... The Snatch Game! Snatch Game! Let's see what these gals Let's have. Let's see what they do. I don't remember last season's Snatch Game. Miss Cleo? I know that I would be bad at Snatch Game. I do too. I That's think, offensive. I think I would. I know that'd be a oh. snatch game. I do too. Excuse me? And I think I would be bad too. Yeah, I do too. I think I would be bad too. All right. Go see Othello at the Court Theater. Yes, yes. Come see Othello. I also host a... I'm one of the resident hosts for a show at Berlin every third Monday... Second Monday. Wow, I'm really bad at this. It's my first time being a host of something. But it's called Gag. Um, yes, oh my yes, god, It's the new it little going? comedy drag show. It's so much fun and so great. We have a little competition show in the middle of it. So if you're in the Chicago area, come see us. Our next show is November 15th, 12th. Come see that if you're in Chicago. If you're not in Chicago, you can come see Othello. On the Court Theater website, there are tickets available for virtual streaming. You get uh, to unlimited amounts of streams or something. I don't know. You can uh, send me a little bit of money on Cash App and Venmo at The Arigato. That's just The Arigato. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at The underscore Ari underscore Gato. That's T-H-E underscore A-R-I underscore G-A-T-O. This has been I Am H-O and My Homosexual Opinion, and I am filling in for both Darby and Chan. <laughs>
<laughs> yes, and if you like this, please join us over on Patreon for patreon.com slash I am each other show. We have exclusive content and more. If you'd like a cameo, we're on cameo. Are you on cameo? I'm not, but they are on cameo. You can be on Individually, cameo. but you can also go on I am each other show dot com and get a cameo from uh, Alexis and Darby together. And in the meantime, stay true north and strong. Bye, bye, bye. Hey. See ya. <laughs> you oh. oh man. Yes. All right. Did you just call me a man? Interesting how I Alexis feels like non-binary and gender fluid identities don't matter. You heard it here first, IMHO family. This is for the Patreon. This is for the world. Wait, do you know I'm non-binary? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. I know everything about you. I'm a mega fan of the show. No, stop I it. Keep telling well, you, you know what? I think I think I credit us for having because you know you were a guest on my hit series OMG GOT. I, yes, yes. And you know Darby before that didn't do much didn't editing. Didn't do no. And then after that, after GOT, is she when had they the started. idea for IMHO. IMHO. We did. We, that. I think we did that. I think we are kind of the reason for the season. I heard you say that on an episode and I said, no, that's very valid. Honestly, it's valid. We are the reason IMHO exists. I was on the second episode of, or I think I was on the last episode of OMG GOT, but I'm still taking credit. Yeah. I, do you re do you rewatch? Do you watch shows? You only watched one movie in your life, but do you watch shows? I do watch shows. Have you rewatched Game of Thrones? I have not rewatched. I don't rewatch shows. I watch them once and then try to remember how I felt. You know what? Some, I heard someone on a podcast say going out to eat at a place like, like a chain mm -hmm. is, is truly just trying to chase that feeling of the first time you've had it. And that's why they all make the same stuff, or at least they're supposed to. Yeah. Maybe that's why I rewatch shows so much is because I'm trying to chase, chase that, that first feeling. And I never do. Oof. That's I never get that feeling man, back, yeah, but I make new feelings. Therapy for that. Like yeah. sometimes when I watch a show and I get to a certain episode, I'll be like, oh, I remember last time I saw this, I was doing this wig. Mm. And I mm. say, what happened to that wig? Mm. Oh, I gave it to Darby. Oh, she never wore it. Oh. Which wig? Oh, she's got a lot in here. Wow. And this is all of you. You made this monster. Honestly, everything... <laughs> Honestly, you I'm, made this monster. Except for, yeah, don't don't take no. Down. Honestly, everything in here <laughs> made. But look, the lace is still on that one, which which either means she hates me. The lace has been chewed off of the one next to it. Oh, well, that's not see. her fault. That's not her. Fault. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Someone took a, a bite. Take a bite. That was a sour candy. No, that was a remake. <laughs> the remix. Um. Anyway, let's bring it on home. <laughs>